Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd habita fillah A question was asked about going to uh, non-Muslim uh, courts uh, And the question reads um, Assalamu alaikum Can you please make a video explaining the issue of going to non-Islamic courts There are a lot of things I don't know about what to do if one gets a ticket, for example? Is it permissible to plead not guilty and go to court? Is it kofr? What if I go to court and they ask me to raise my hand and take an oath? Or what if I have to defend myself and say I'm not guilty? First and foremost, uh, by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ulama have also spoke about some of these issues that I'm aware of and perhaps in other people's questions have dealt extensively with these questions. And First and foremost, to make it uh, short and concise, is of course it's okay for you to go to a uh, non-Islamic court because this is not, a lot of people have confused the issue of ruling by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals. Because ruling by what Allah tabarak wa ta'ala or ruling by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals is co meaning to rule by laws which contradict Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's laws. And if we look at most of your questions here, and we look at many of the scenarios people have, for example, in Western countries or non-Muslim countries, often people have pro uh, issues with getting their rights. And of course it's permissible for you to get your rights, to obtain your rights. If someone steals from you, you have a right, and you can call the police to... Uh, enforce the laws that are already pre-existing because you have a right to your property and you can also defend yourself and defend your property as this is an Islamic right and this is a right within the context depending on your society and the laws of your society. And so you have a right to get your rights and as long as the laws are not contradicting the book of Allah and the Sunnah, the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then this is not considered ruling by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed. And to make it even more clear, for example, you're talking about issues like traffic tickets and so forth. In general, uh, in the West and now in around the world and everywhere from countries like Pakistan and other countries that are less developed, you have traffic lights you have uh, these traffic laws which are basically developed from where they came from in the West or wherever they originally uh, these laws came from. But I believe they generally developed from the West. And these are laws which are for the general maslaha of the society. So in a non-Muslim society, they determine that that's for the general maslaha. You know, it's for the general benefit of the people to have traffic laws. Because we have cars, and we have pedestrians, and we have ways that they have to interact with one another and, oh, and be on the street. So we need to have laws, we need to have ways to deal with that. that has, that's, there's nothing in the shara that is uh, restricting that or... Um, necessarily or explicitly uh, dealing with those issues. These are contemporary uh, issues, if you will, and these issues are issues that don't have a, a, any effect on really ibadat at all or mu'amalat and, and anything related to sh shara. So these are issues that uh, fall under other sharia principles such as looking at the, the general benefit, uh, you know, for the society. Uh, and likewise, the same goes in a Muslim land. So we don't say, oh, uh, non-Muslims have applied a traffic law, I'm ruling by the Sharia by obeying it. No, that's not, uh, only the most extreme people would say something like that, and it's a mistake. So, Getting back to more specifically what you're talking about, there are things I don't know about. There are things we all don't know about. Uh, what to do if one gets a ticket, for example? Well, if you get a ticket, you pay for it if you have to, uh, or you will go to jail, 
or have your car impounded, you you will pay for it one way or another. Um, and if you feel that you have been wronged with regards to that ticket or you want to fight it, is it permissible to plead not guilty? Yes, it's permissible to plead not guilty and go to court. Is this kufr? No, it's not kufr. What if I go to court and they ask me to raise my hand and take an oath? This is something uh, where there may be an issue here, but rather, if you go to court, I believe, especially in America, that you can say that, you know, I promise to tell the truth or something like that without taking uh, any kind of oath that may be um, problematic. Uh, or what if I have to, to defend myself and I'm saying I'm not guilty, okay, and I think that's that's been answered. So just to make that clear, is these, uh, as long as these contemporary laws, they have nothing to do with the Shadr Aslan, you know, these are things that are uh, from Mu'amalat, that's Mubah, Aslan, and then they, as long as they have no uh, impact on the Shara, they don't contradict the Sharia, then they are not ruling by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed. And if for a person who wants more extensive detail uh, in the Arabic language, I would advise to go through uh, a fantastic book by Sheikh Suleiman al-Rahili, Hafid Allah ta'ala, from his books that came out, and I think this is it here. It, it may be it. No, this is not it. Or perhaps it could be in this book here, which is called Al Usul Al Sunniya Al Bahia Fi Keshva Shuba Ahl Al Fitin Al Gawiya. So this is a book and it has a series of treaties or a series of series of uh, very beneficial. Uh, De, uh, you know, benefits dealing with the issue of takfir and, and a lot of the shubahat, a lot of doubts the takfiris use. And especially this is in the context of talking about ISIS. So this is a contemporary book, a very beneficial book, and I would advise to get it. And this is where I found the most clearest explanation I ever came across to. It was like almost a new faida. It really was a new faida, a new benefit for me about this issue about ruling by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed. He, the way he... he, he kind of spoke about it and dealt with it, um, it just opened up things and made things so clear for me in that regard. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.